Hello everyone! Okay, I'm going to do something I don't usually do, that is make a vlog when people are home. This is going to be really interesting and my dog started barking and I gave her like a little doggy ice cream so I'm hoping she's going to be cool. Today I want to talk about something that I've talked about She's allergies. God, loads of times with my friends. They totally relate. One of the funnest subjects for me is talking about the products from the 70s and the 80s. You know, like hair products and they just don't, they don't make stuff like they did then. They don't. It was so much fun back then. Um, okay, like for starters, the, the shampoos, conditioners. My favorite shampoo back in the day when I was a teenager, I have an older sister. We both had long hair. Well, I still have the long hair, but she had long hair at that time too. Anyway, we loved Yucca Do shampoo. If anybody remembers Yucca Do shampoo, you gotta tell me. You gotta tell me. So we could like connect or something. Loved yucca do yucca do shampoo, made from a yucca plant. I wish to God they made something. I know they don't make yucca do shampoo anymore. It left your hair smelling so good, yummy. But it left your hair like glossy and probably from the yucca plant. I don't know, but it was called yucca do shampoo. There was even a little jingle that goes, "Ooh, yucca do." shampoo I don't know I wish I could find a commercial oh they would make my I'm a dork like that that would make my day yeah good do shampoo they don't make it anymore they made the best products back then another one me and my sister loved was a conditioner called long and silky hence the long hair it smelled so nice it smelled fresh it had a like a fresh smell to it. I remember um, it, it was in a blue bottle and it had like a blue coloring to it. Do y'all remember long and silky shampoo? Or not shampoo, conditioner. And it did, it left your hair feeling silky. Um, I'm trying to think, Earthborn shampoo. How many people remember Earthborn shampoo? Another one that had a fantastic smell. It like was a fruity, it was probably the early version of Herbal Essence shampoo. Think about it. Like the, I remember they had the apple one. Um, they had like a tangerine. Love that. And it left your hair feeling so, it, some shampoos that are fruity or conditioners will leave your hair feeling kind of like sticky. Like I don't like that feeling. Kind of funky feeling. Mm -hmm. This didn't do it. The products back then were so much better than today. They really were. Coffee break. Ooh. And it's very hot. Did not expect it to be that hot. Oh god, that hurt. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just freshly made. Okay. Actually, it's Starbucks, so don't usually buy Starbucks. My son bought some, so just trying it out. Um, it does taste really good. That's a whole nother vlog. What other ones? Okay, so long and silky. Um, do you remember Bright Side Shampoo? Sounds like a kid's um, show. Bright Side Shampoo. I don't know that. I can't remember the commercial for that one. Um, how about Tame? Tame Conditioner? I'm telling you, the products back then ruled. They really worked good. Fidel Sassoon, I always remember, had an almond -y smell. Were they made with almonds? I wonder. I loved, I, we, we, we bought them all. We used them all. They were fantastic. My favorite though was the Yucca Do Shampoo. I wish they'd bring that back. Um, okay, Herbal Essence, of course, was the original 70s. You know, you had to use that one, but I mean, we, we used so many different ones. Um, we all follow me over at my Pinterest. Okay, there's a uh, board. I made deodorant spray. Okay. Many years ago, I gave up regular deodorant. I just feel better, prefer for myself to use safer products when it comes to that. No aluminum, 
all natural deodorants and they do work and I don't sweat and all that kind of stuff people think oh god if you start if you switch over to the better kind for you that no no you're far better off but anyways back in the day before we knew all this crap about chemicals and stuff I loved the babe deodorant spray in a can it smelled so nice um, just putting that out there not it's not shampoo but anyway Soleil, remember who can forget Ben de Soleil? It was um, a um, tanning lotion. Smelled so good. Smelled so good. Do you remember that one? I remember I won a radio contest when I was, I think, a teenager. And back then, you know, tanning was the thing. But um, I won tanning supplies. It was on a radio show. It was pretty cool. But anyways, I always think of that for some reason in the contest when I see. And I haven't seen that in ages. And do you remember Pure Magic? When I first started wearing makeup when I was a teenager, Pure Magic. I could still see the little logo thing. Um, clean Rinse. Do y'all remember Clean Rinse? It was a conditioner. They don't make stuff like... I swear to God. Um, oh, and this one, I remember being like a teenager. Uh, one of the first perfumes was the, how would you, it was like a cream perfume you put on your wrist. And it was was made by Cody. It was called Sweet Earth Fragrances. It's like, it's so nostalgic looking at stuff like that. Um, it really is. It just kind of takes you back in time. Okay, I told you about Earthborn, but there's another one just like Earthborn, and it was really it was such a good product. Oh, I can't find it now. Um, soft and dry deodorant. Not as good as babe deodorant, though. I'm almost at 10 minutes. Conditions were so cute back then and cool. Um, like that to me, I love that kind of skirt. I'm one of those people, I never liked a dress per se. I liked a skirt, I thought it looked better. I thought it looked kind of cute in a skirt, but whatever, whatevs. I don't know, I might be too old for that now, but yeah, look, isn't that cute? I don't know, but yeah. Now I, I hated this, I hated the fads. Um, Fashions of the 70s, and I was a child of the 70s, would have rather been a child of the 80s. I hated, hated, hated bell bottoms, still do. Good coffee. Um, but I'm almost at 10 minutes, so this might have to be a part two. Um, or I might just leave it. Okay, this is the other one, finally, that I was thinking of. That is Can you see? I'm telling you, it's like, could they bring back all these shampoos? Like, I love it. I'm a dork like that, I guess. But, um, but anyway, yeah, leave some comments below. I think I have the comments on. If not, I cannot approve them. Tell me if you're like around my age and if you remember the products from the 70s, or even if you're not my age, like, if you like happen to think. 70s and 80s products ruled. Leave some comments below. And yeah, this has been fun. I'm kind of out of my element though at the moment because people are at home. So I'm not used to not used to doing um <laughs> not used to doing uh, videos when people are home. But anyway, it's been fun and Bella didn't actually bark. Probably because somebody's home and she knows that, oh, that'll make me look bad. It'll make, it'll, we'll, we'll make mom a liar. Because I said, she always barks when I go on video. Okay, everybody have a great day. Bye.